Well, my brother just married a woman he's only known for seven months. Congratulations to my brother, and I love him, right? But this is the twist. He was with a woman for 10 years. Everything she asked my brother to do, he is doing for this woman that he has only known for seven months. Bottom line, bro, I love you if you're watching this, but I had to share it. Stop begging these men to do things you need to be done because he is not going to change for you. He will never be the man you need him to be because you are not the woman that he wants to be with. People change for who they want to change for. Stop preaching and start waiting patiently for your husband. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi, aka Petit Diva. And this video is all about shut up rings. Now, what is a shut up ring? Okay, so a shut up ring is the ring that a man gives to a woman when it's not his person and she has been begging him about marriage. She's, she's been nagging him. They've been probably talking about it for a long time and they're most likely in a relationship for at least five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And so he gives her this ring as a here, okay, this is what you want. Here's your ring. Are you happy now? And it's not a genuine ring. And usually these people also end up being a forever girlfriend, forever fiance, meaning it never makes the step from fiance to bride. Also with the shut up ring, you usually don't get an actual proposal. It's usually like an afterthought of a, okay, you said you wanted this ring, here you go. And it might be like in the parking lot at Walmart, like the video that I made the other day. It might be like in your bedroom where he just half-assed it and he was just like, oh yeah, okay, you want this ring, here you go. There's no genuine proposal. There's no genuine thought behind any of it. It's generally like, here, I want you to stop asking me about marrying you. Okay, here's your ring. Are you happy? And the men who give shut up rings are absolutely settling. These men are not marrying the person that they really want to be with. They are comfortable. They are complacent. And the women has not walked away from the relationship. So he therefore no longer has to do anything because most of the time he's probably already gotten everything he needed. He probably has the house. He probably has the kids. They've been together for so long. And now the woman's like, okay, so we've done all that. Like, what about marriage? And the woman has done it backwards. It should be the other way. When you give him everything and he hasn't had to work for it and then you're asking for the marriage and you're not his person, you're gonna end up in this shut up ring situation. Because when a man wants to marry and wife you up, he will not make you wait. He will wife you up so quick, you will not have to question, you will not have to guess. You will get an authentic, genuine proposal where he has thought out things. And again, proposals don't have to be fancy, like I said in my last video, but it needs to show effort that he thought about it and that he's not gonna pick up something that you absolutely hate. So shut up rings meaning not genuine, they're settling and they want you to stop asking them about marriage because you won't walk away and you don't know your worth and you don't know your value. So they're just like, okay, here you go. And they're gonna sit complacent until somebody does something. Okay, so it's actually both options because some people end up with a shut up ring that never make it to the altar. And there are a lot of people that still end up with a shut up ring and are married. So most of us know that the shut up ring is the ring that a man gives to a woman after she's been begging to be married. She's been harassing him, not harassing him, but she's basically been saying, why aren't we married? It's been all these years. And he basically gives her the ring to say, okay, I did it. Here you go. Here's your ring. Are you happy now? And while most of these cases don't make it to the actual wedding, there are cases, a lot of cases actually, where they do go through fully with the marriage, but they usually end up divorced within a few years. If you look at my video on this playlist where I describe what a shut up ring is, you can read through the comments and look at all the women that confirmed, I got a shut up ring. I currently have a shut up ring. I was in one of those relationships. So most people are aware that they have this or they find out too late and then they realize like, crap, I need to get out of this situation. And whether people want to admit it or not, every single person in this scenario absolutely settled because they either didn't have enough self-worth, felt like they were missing out, felt like they were getting too old. You name all the things. And most of the time, the reason people end up with the shut up ring is because they want to be married so bad that they're willing to overlook everything at the cost of just being able to say, I found a husband, I married, I was successful in that area. People keep asking for a definition of a shut up ring. A shut up ring is a ring or proposal that a man gives you with the sole intent of buying time. He does not intend to fulfill the promise of a proposal. You know, he's never going to marry you, but he's given you a ring to shut you up 
and keep you calm while he continues to get all the benefits that he wants from you. Either he's looking around for somebody else he wants to commit to or he's trying to get his ducks in a row so he can leave you without suffering any penalty. I give a lot of the signs of a shut up ring and the reason I do that is because you don't want to get caught in that whirlpool. All it's going to do is waste your time. Most times the engagement is going to come to nothing, but on rare occasions, the guy will actually marry you, but he's going to make you miserable because he never wanted to marry you. All he wanted to do was milk you for your free labor. And he's going to resent you like he's not the one who proposed. Basically, a shut up ring is a ring given to shut a woman up. Usually it occurs when the woman is saying, what are we? If you don't give me an engagement ring, if you don't put a ring on it, I am going to leave the relationship. So the guy just buys the ring to shut out. Now, sometimes the shut up ring might result in a long engagement because that was what the lady wanted. She wanted the ring. And sometimes it might end up in a shut up marriage. So they might eventually go from fiancé to marriage. But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. You might have a person become a forever fiancé and never a bride. Which way this video was inspired by a particular story that I saw on Twitter where a lady was talking about how her uh, ex-boyfriend left her to go to the UK when she was pregnant with twins. Now, the story is just um, one that hopefully people will learn from, but I will talk about it after we've checked out what people think about shut up rings or shut up marriage. I'll tell you when I realized that I had been given a shut up ring and it's probably not what you expect. I realized the first few weeks of our marriage like literally right as soon as we settled in together, settled into married life, I realized we had made the wrong choice because I'd spent so much of our relationship wondering where it was going because we had this like long impending long distance with no end in sight. I wanted commitment. I wanted to know that there was an end to this and that there was going to be commitment at the end of the road. And that's what I thought that I needed. So that held me through, you know, the engagement, the proposal is what kept me thinking the relationship, it's going to be better when, it's going to be better when we move and we live in the same place. It's going to be better when we're married. And lo and behold, after the wedding, when the dust settled from all the wedding bliss, nothing was better and I wasn't any happier. And that was a huge learning moment for me because that's when I really realized that whole, you can't control other people. You can't change other people. You can't force someone to be the person that you need them to be. And I guess for a long time, I thought I had accomplished that because I had convinced him to marry me and I had convinced him to put an end to the long distance. But yeah, as soon as the dust settled, I realized that the ring, the proposal, the marriage, the wedding, none of that changed anything. We still had all the exact same problems that we had before. It took about two years for us to kind of live with it and for our marriage to fall apart. And towards the end, you know, trying to salvage it, that's when I feel like all the shut up moves started happening when I was saying, I'm really unhappy. I'm thinking about maybe potentially getting a divorce. Let's maybe separate for a while and get some time apart. And that's when, you know, I need you to tell me I'm pretty. That happened for about a week. I need you to buy me flowers. It probably happened once or twice. Or I need you to go to therapy. We talked about it, but it never actually ended up happening. Then towards the end, I was just so exhausted with everything. I was so exhausted that, you know, I wasn't really as convinced by the shut up moves as I had been previously. And that's when I started really paying attention to his actions. You know, I, I didn't care that I got flowers one time. I needed to see if it was going to become a regular thing. Or I needed to see if I was being complimented or being showed affection or being told that I was loved. And I just realized there was it was done a few times and then it just got completely forgotten about because things were better. When I realized those things were never actually going to stick and they were never actually going to stay around, that's when I decided that I was done. Anyways, I'm Monica. I share my mistakes in life and love so you don't have to make the same ones. Okay, love you, bye. The video going around about her shut up ring and how this woman realized she got a shut up ring after the marriage. She says that she was in this long distance relationship. She always wanted to know what would be the end of the relationship. Is there going to be commitment? And what got her through the engagement, all the things up until the wedding was the fact of, well, once we're officially married, things are going to get better. I'm sorry to break it to you, and I understand that I'm not married and never have been married, but marriage isn't just going to be the end-all, be-all, and it's going to fix all the relationship problems. Actually, marriage, in my opinion, is going to expose whether you guys had a strong relationship or you guys had problems. This is a very unpopular opinion, but this is just my belief. A lot of you think marriage is either A, going to fix everything, and or is the ultimate sign of love. It's not. And at the same time, some of you look at it as like, 
what's the next steps in my relationship? In my honest opinion, marriage doesn't change the relationship. It just changes the title. What I mean by that is some of you look at marriage as a goal, right? You know how we have goals in our regular life and some of us have accomplished those goals and it didn't hit the way I, you thought it would? What do you think what happens with marriage with some people? They have marriage as a goal, they finally get married, and then they're like, wait, this doesn't feel the way I thought it was gonna make me feel. So then you have to ask yourself, did you get married because you really wanted to get married or did you just do it because you thought that's what you were supposed to do in life? Please, please, please don't get the shut up ring. The shut up ring is when you've been with him so long that he just gives you a ring to shut you up. He doesn't actually want the marriage. And then you're going to be in a marriage where you're always trying to motivate him. You're always trying to get him to do stuff. You're always trying to get him off the couch. He's always lazy. You're sitting in forums wondering why he doesn't like you, why he doesn't want to do stuff for you. That's because you pushed him into having the shut up ring. If it's been such a long time and you're wondering why he hasn't proposed, I would get out of it. It's not for you. The person who's for you is going to be wanting to be with you. You're not going to have to get the shut up ring. You're not going to have to nag him into marrying you. The issue is a lot of women get a man into her own project, her own project being the relationship. Like it's her project. Like she started the project of this relationship. It was never him whose idea it was. It was your idea. And because it was always your idea, you're always the driving force, the motivating factor. Get a man whose project your relationship is because the person whose project the person whose project it is, is the one who's going to be more invested. And between you and I, you need him to be more invested. You need him to be more invested because women are more invested in relationships. We're more relationship focused. Men are more material focused. You have to be absolutely crazy, literally delulu, to believe that a man that waited one to two years to actually give you a ring really wants to be with you because I am going to tell you 110% the ring that he gave you after making you wait so long was a shut up ring. See, the thing is, men already know if they want to become long term with you from the jump. It'll come within the first one to two months, sometimes even weeks. Men don't wait for women for years if they actually want to be with them or marry them. He gave you the shut up ring because you were beneficial to him. And he would rather be with somebody than actually nobody. He gave you the shut up ring so you're only entitled to him. And also so you won't question him about any other thing in the relationship. Because you think that y'all are already locked in. Just because he's not attracted to you or you're not the woman that he wants. Does not stop him from acting like it. It was never about money because you don't have to have an expensive ring or an expensive wedding. You could literally go and get married at the court. And the sad reality is a lot of y'all will think maybe he's just waiting to give you the ring. But in actuality, you're just not the woman that he actually wanted. But he decided to settle down anyway because he does not want you to leave out of his life just in case all things fail. But y'all stay safe though. It was never going to be you. It was never going to be you. This is what happens when women think that they are the exception to an ancient man. That man was with that woman for 10 years and left her for you when she had two toddlers, little babies, left her for you. So what quality of man do you think you're getting when he would abandon a family he has already started for another woman? And you talk about it's been three years. I better get a ring. At this point, if you do get a ring, he's simply trying to save face so that he does not look like ain't shit. And it is without a doubt a shut up ring. And that's not to say that he doesn't like you or love you. But if he has gotten you pregnant already. And it's been years. And he has made no attempt to marry you he has not proposed but yet y'all are having conversations about marriage that man is bread crumbing you and you cannot see it it's like you think he made you feel as though you were better than his ex that it was something that she lacked why he he didn't marry her or why he didn't this or why he left her but in reality He's lacking. 
So you need to wake up before that three years turns into 10 and you still looking for a ring. And it's never coming. And if it does come, you should be weary because why is it only going to come after you're begging? Like at this point, you're begging. If you're sitting here like, why hasn't he proposed? Like, why aren't we getting married? Why? Like, he better propose to me at this point. I think it's disrespectful. So, you know, you know. So rather than let him and don't let him knock you up again, don't pop out another baby for him. Rather than sit around and wait for 10 more years to pass or wait for him to knock you up two, two, maybe three more times, just go ahead and get on a pot of deer. Go ahead and get on up out of there if marriage is what you're looking for. So I was tagged in this video, but I want you to check it out. But I'm going to show you something that I noticed about this couple. But when I looked up the couple, I also ran across this video. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Like, this is no shade to that couple, because clearly they pop up year after year saying, still ain't married. I hope this man hasn't convinced her that marriage is just a piece of paper. So is money, and they value that. So is the deed to the house they both share, but he values that. So are the, the business licenses for the three businesses that they actually share, but yet again, he values that. So let's not act like papers don't also have value. One of the saddest things for me is when I see a woman convince herself that she doesn't want something just because she knows the man that she's asking it from will never give it to her. If you want to be married, but he doesn't want to marry you, you don't really want to let him go. So you're going to say, I don't want to be married either. I don't want to be married either. But why accept the ring? You do want to be married. That's why you're engaged. You're going to mess around and end up being a forever fiance because you're giving him every single thing that comes with marriage without him actually having to take that step to commit to you in that way. The thing about it is if God forbid something were to happen to that man, you would have to fight his family for the house and the businesses and the cars. You have no legal rights to anything just as a girlfriend or as a forever fiance. This is exactly why I'm making this video. Lauren London was with Lipsy Hustle until the day he passed away. They were together for six years. It was almost five years after his passing. She's been fighting his family the whole time. They, they had kids together and all of that. This is what I'm hoping you will avoid. The point of my video was not to shade this woman or any other woman who's a long-term fiance, but to just try to help you to let this be a cautionary tale. You don't want to spend years trying to get what you help build. One thing I will never understand is girls having to give their boyfriends a timeline of when they need to propose or else they'll leave. I have known and heard of so many stories of girls being like, yeah, I told him that if he doesn't propose by the end of this year, I'm breaking up with him. If he doesn't propose by next month, I'm breaking up with him. My thing is, is they should want to propose to you. They should want to marry you. There shouldn't have to be like a deadline on it. And I totally understand having conversations like, you know, we're getting to the point in our relationship where I would like to be engaged soon. Like, how are you feeling about it? And like communicating about it. But usually when girls are putting like a deadline on things is because it's not happening. Like if you want engagement and marriage, show it to your partner. Engagement should be a positive thing. It shouldn't be something that you have to force the other person into doing or giving them a deadline just so you get a ring. And then in the back of your head, you're thinking like, okay, well, did he only propose to me because I said he would leave him if he didn't? Did he actually want to propose to me? If I didn't say that, how long would it have taken him to propose? He should propose because he fucking wants to, bitch. You shouldn't have to force him into it. If you're someone who has been waiting for a really long time, or if you're someone who does feel as though you're constantly asking for a thing in your relationship, how do you know that the actions of your partner isn't just a shut up ring or a shut up move? It's basically when you have been in a relationship for long enough and the woman is saying, why haven't you proposed to me? Why aren't you proposing? And the man eventually proposes not by his own free will, but because he thinks it will get her to shut up and he can just live his life in peace if he marries her. Because I think we do need to tell our partners what it is that we mm -hmm. want in relationships. And it is important that you know sometimes we might have to explain to them how we feel or where we want the relationship to go and there's that saying if they wanted to they would right there are going to be times where your partner no matter how wonderful they are completely misses the mark and it's okay to have to explain to them what it is that you need to be satisfied the difference is having to constantly and repetitively ask for the same thing over and over and over for them to only change their behavior for a short period of time to then go back to their default 
That's what I think defines a shut up move mm. or a shut up ring. But it's also situational. And are we talking like are you nagging constantly because they never put the dishes away? The kitchen's always a pick style. Or is it something way bigger and way more serious? Like I want you to meet my family or I want to move in together. I want to take that next step. These are fine, but you also have to understand that their answer might not match yours. About This is a diamond dust ring. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I thought I would weigh in on this whole shut up ring thing that I've been seeing on here all over the place. And I sold jewelry for like a year, not that many people know that about me, but these rings that she's calling diamond dust rings, we actually in the industry call cluster rings when there are like a cluster of smaller diamonds made to look from afar like a, like a big shiny diamond. And when I tell you, Every man who came in looking for these, the specific type of ring, I knew, I knew it was a shut up ring. They would ask, they would be like, is there anything you can show us under a thousand dollars? Is there anything that you can show us, you know, within this price range of a couple hundred dollars? And I would think to myself, I would be like, she's really only worth $500 to you, bro easy if you were dating a guy for more than two and a half years and he doesn't propose maybe there's talk of marriage but he's not ready yet that's the point when you 100 percent leave guys will know six months to a year right after they start dating you if they want to spend the rest of their life with you now let's say he does propose seven eight nine ten years into the relationship one of two things are definitely going to happen either the engagement is going to be a very long one or he will break up with you during your engagement or you'll get married and then probably get divorced within the first few years. Usually if a guy proposes six, seven, eight, nine, ten years into a relationship, it's usually because he sees his other friends getting married and just feels like, oh, I've been with this girl for so long that this is it. But then he panics. He has time to spare and you don't. So he just wasted six, seven, eight, nine, ten years of your life. I know you love him, but if you've been together for four or five, six years and the topic of marriage just hasn't come up, you are not the one for him. And he is most definitely not the one for you. A lot of time people will hold engagements as placeholders. Mm. Like, you know, to put the girl on ice. Like, okay, yes. I gave you a ring, girl, shut up. You know, maybe no, I met a guy married. like that the other day. He was like, oh, I'm engaged. I said, oh, how long you been engaged? Two years. Oh. I don't understand the point of a long engagement. I just don't. The whole point of an engagement is that you are saying, I want to marry you. So if you put a ring on her finger and then you make her wait, a year, two, three years. What's the what, mm -hmm. what's the hold up? You pretty much just don't want to get married. Yeah. Don't ask nobody to marry you if you don't want to get married. And I, I would say six months. Let's get engaged and then we can go like get married by ourselves and then we can have a party later on. Yes. You know, because I like, what's the point of the engagement? Like, let's get to the it. The best way to do it. Yeah. Just go to the courthouse. What are you waiting for? Yeah. How did you get your significant other to see the value in getting engaged? Oh, sis, there's absolutely nothing that you can do to make a man want to propose and ultimately marry you if he does not want to propose or marry you. And it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you. So at this point, with this information, you have two roads that you can take, okay? A decision you either decide to still stay in it because as you said, you've invested a lot, you love him and make that concession to maybe not be married and maybe just be in these long-term partnerships, whatever it is, or you can go the other route, take your left foot and your right foot and leave and find what it is that you're looking for. That's a decision for you to make because you know what's inside you and what you want. And my personal circumstance, I am married. Being married was never something on the list. I did not see people married. That's just how I grew up. I didn't see people married. I didn't see men around and relate. It was just women and children. That's all I saw. And when I met my husband, he comes from a family background with married parents, married grandparents, like that, that whole family structure. He was also raised in the church, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm just adding some context. With that said, I, even when we were in a relationship for X amount of years, I had never ever pressured him once into, are we going to get married? We should get married. Where's the ring? Because again, it's not something that I saw or even made a requirement. Like it's, it just was what it was. So therefore when he proposed to me, I literally almost fell on the floor because I was like, marriage? Me? Who? 
But at the same time, when I asked him, I'm like, what is it that made you want to marry me? Like, what is it? What? And he's like, I wanted to make it official. I love you. And this is what you do when you love someone and you want it to be official and you want to start your life in the next chapter. It's very simple. It's very simple. After the first couple of months of me dating you, I realized like, okay, this is the one. This is the one. I'm going to marry her. And I'm like, first couple of months? And he's like, first couple of months. Of course, I just wanted to, you know, be where I wanted to be, like with work, etc. I wanted you to finish school. But first couple of months, I realized like, yeah, this is it. So Godspeed, girl. And that's another thing. The last thing that you want is a shut up ring. The last thing you want is a shut up ring. And we see those clips, those videos too much on this app. Do with that information as you wish. Having a conversation with a partner about taking that next step in the relationship should never feel like pressure because at the end of the day, my guidance is this. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. What I mean by that is your partner's response to you bringing up moving to the next phase of the relationship should be met with equal amounts of enthusiasm and excitement. Any indication of hemming and hawing and I guess maybe is essentially them telling you that they're not ready. And the response to that is to not try to convince them that they're wrong. Really, the response to that can be one of two things if it's not going to be to pressure them, right? It's either, okay, I hear that you're not quite ready for that step and you're not as ready as I am. I'm okay to take a step back and like wait for you to be ready. Or I hear that you're not ready, I am ready. It seems like we're in two different places and maybe we need to reevaluate what we are. So to me, bringing it up, no pressure. There is no pressure on this conversation. They're either where you are and are excited about the chance to move forward with you, or they're not. And in the case that they're not, you're not going to try to convince them that they actually are. Because to your point, you don't wanna pressure your partner, right? You don't wanna make them take a step they're not ready for, because that's how people feel resentful. You with a man for five to 10 years with no ring. You are not his dream girl. He's still out there looking for his wife. Facts, and the one that he won't, he gonna marry her ass within one to six months when he get with her. He's dragging your ass through the mud. You giving him everything you can for nothing. Cause he can, a clean slate. He gonna walk his ass away, his happy ass with some other girl to leave you stuck and hurt. Save all of that drama and deal with it the right way. The hell he waiting on anyway, the world will end before he marry you. Get it right, ladies. Now, quite a lot of people think that um, a short up ring, a short up marriage is not the best, is not ideal. But it will surprise you that quite a lot of other people, a lot of women, actually want that short up ring or short up marriage. They don't mind as long as they get the ring and say that they are engaged or as long as they say that they are married. Now, this story that inspired this video, um, a lady came online. She was saying how. Uh, she met her ex-boyfriend mid-2019 and when she met him, he was a lecturer at a polytechnic and he obviously told her that he doesn't want to remain in Nigeria. He wants to leave Nigeria. He wants to work outside Nigeria. He wants to travel abroad just like his brother. So she knew from the beginning of the relationship that he was not interested in staying in Nigeria. I think she was delusional about the fact that he was going to put her in his plans and she stuck with him. Then when he got his visa to travel to the UK in 2022, she now asked him what about them, what's going to happen to their relationship. And as a guy who obviously had known that he's not interested in carrying her along um he just stood out no you never forget her blah 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 and she must have realized that he was not putting her into his plans so she said that um she found out that she was pregnant at that point and the guy told her that he's not ready to be a father that he doesn't want kids and that she should get rid of it. She said she could not get rid of it. She said that um, it's going to be dangerous for her and or whatnot. She eventually decided to keep the children because it was actually a twin pregnancy, but the guy had already 
gone to the UK. And when he left, he never bothered about her. So throughout her pregnancy, which she said was very hectic, throughout giving birth, everything, he was not interested. She kept on sending him messages, pictures, videos. He did not respond at all. Now, fast forward the time that the kids are one year old, she has struggled to take care of the kids from when they were born because she's not really financially stable. A mom who has a business, she has been using a mother's business money to kind of take care of the kids and the business is being affected and they are not really financially able to take care of the kids her and mom and everything so she has tried to contact the brother of the guy the father of the kids and when she talked to him he said he was going to talk to his brother but i believe that when the brother talked to him and they realized that it's a possibility that she actually got pregnant to try and tie him down um the brother of the father of the kids also blocked her and was not relating to her Fast forward some months, she decided to go and look for the parents of the father of the kids. And when she got to where they are, because she's from a different state, she traveled to his state and tried to get to them. Um, she was met with resistance from the brother and they tried to just like get her away from the parents, not so that the parents would not know what's going on. And eventually they called her, the guy, the father of the kids, called her and abused her and said all sorts to her and said that, what does she think she's trying to achieve by going to his parents? That does, he think, that does she think he's going to be forced to marry her, that he doesn't want to have anything to do with her or her children? Eventually, she has decided that she is no longer going to be communicating with him. She's not going to be sending anything to him. She has blocked him. And that now she made the thread. She was like, if people know the guy's parents, that they should try and link her up with the guy's parents so that they can at least take care of the kids because she's financially not able to take care of the kids she feels like even though she and the guy the father of the kids have made a mistake that the children should not suffer for their mistake now i was reading the whole thing and honestly this is my own honest opinion and it might seem harsh it might seem a particular kind of way but i don't know why she thought that he was going to include her in his plan when it was obvious that he was not going to include her in his plan now someone that is including you in his plans to relocate would have started the process of marrying you or something before eventually getting the visa so that at least when he gets his visa and i believe it might be a student visa that he got he would um you, he would take her along as a dependent. I feel that she saw the red flags, but sometimes some people just date for transaction. So it's a transactional kind of um, relationship. They are not dating because they like the person. She saw that he was focused on leaving Nigeria. He was focused on traveling abroad and she thought that he would include her. So she stayed. Now I strongly believe that she tried to use that pregnancy to trap him which is a mistake a lot of ladies especially in nigeria make you cannot trap a guy in nigeria with pregnancy maybe in another country you might get child support or something but you cannot trap a guy into marrying you because of a pregnancy she tried to use that and that's my honest opinion because you cannot tell me that from 2019, 2020, 2021, till the time he got his visa, you were not using some form of birth control. And people were trying to blame the guy and say, oh, someone that doesn't want kids will not um, sleep with someone without protection, without physical protection. And I feel like they had like maybe an unspoken rule or deal or something that she was the one that was in charge of taking 
birth control to try and prevent her from getting pregnant. And when she saw, she had an inkling that he was not putting her in his plan. She did follow through with the prevention and decided to get pregnant. And that backfired on her because he was still focused on his goals and he did not even like acknowledge her throughout the whole pregnancy one year after so it's almost two years he has not acknowledged that and she has realized that this guy is serious but because of the nigerian culture because of the african culture she feels like if she gets to his parents they are going to like try and force him to take ownership of the kids and also maybe marry her because there are some people that they will say that there are some families that you cannot give birth to children outside the home meaning that at least maybe they'll pay your bride price or something for them to claim ownership of the children so she probably this is my own opinion it might not be what she's thinking but for, from what i read that's what i got she probably thinks that seeing the parents will make them um force him to maybe acknowledge her or marry her or do something which is not going to happen and even if it happens in my own opinion, it will be a shut up marriage. It will be a shotgun marriage. And I don't know why you would want to force yourself in that kind of situation where someone is married to you just because you manipulated and forced the person to marry you. Those kind of marriages, at the end of the day, you are going to regret it because that person doesn't like you. He is already feeling was he would be feeling very um angry with the fact that he's forced to be with you and that kind of person will never honor whatever vows he says or whatever thing that he says he's most likely going to be cheating he's most likely going to have other women and if you confront such person the person will tell you i do not want to marry you you are the one that forced yourself on me you are the one that decided to get pregnant you are the one that went to my parents to get me to marry you and the rest and then they begin to cry and say my husband is not doing this my husband is not doing that but you did everything to get a shut up marriage or a shotgun marriage and i don't know why some women actually think that is the best way to get a guy to marry them or get a guy to stay with them to me i feel like that is a wrong way to get into a marriage but some people don't care they just want to say that they are married they just want to say that they have an engagement dream they just want to say that the father of their child is with them that's basically their thoughts so any which way they get the guy they don't care anyway concerning this story the lady the last time i checked um a lot of people have contributed money to help her take care of the kids a lot of people have given her advice that she should forget about the guy but i don't think that it's going to be possible the lady in my own opinion really wants that guy to acknowledge her she wants him to maybe marry her and i think an end goal might be for him to relocate her and the kids outside nigeria i don't know this is my own thoughts i might be wrong um i also saw somewhere where someone said that uh, the father of the boy that's the father of the deadbeat dad the father that doesn't want to acknowledge his kids and uh, that's the grandfather of the kids um i said that they need to do a dna test to confirm that the kids are actually the boy's own but the boy is in uk and i know for sure that he's not going to come back to nigeria to do any dna test he is not interested he really doesn't like the girl and this whole scenario is going to make the hate that he has for her greater so I don't know what they are going to do. So I think they were saying something about the grandfather doing the DNA test with the kids, with the grandkids. I don't know. I really don't know if that is truly the update to the story. But I just think the whole scenario is just um, not the best for the lady. I think she should just focus on her kids and move on. Any which way, I don't know what you guys think about this whole um scenario this whole shotgun marriage shut up marriage shut up ring i would love to hear your own thoughts about this topic so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this 
Let's consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime I upload videos. Now with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.